So what are partial fractions? Good question. What are partial fractions? So let's take a look at an example of this. And we have x plus 7 over x squared minus x squared minus x minus 6. Okay? So we look at a over x minus 3 plus b over x plus 2. Okay, so there's our partial fraction. We want to solve for A and B. We want to solve for A and B. And what do we need to do? We want to combine these fractions into 1. So this we have to multiply by x plus 2. This we have to multiply by x minus 3. So there we get AX plus 2A. Here we get BX minus 3B. And we know that this is x plus 7. So, if we f so before we factor that out, we get x plus 2 plus b times x minus 3. So we get x equal to negative 2, and we'll plug that in, we get just to find out what b is giving us. So what happens here, that goes to 0, okay, so we want to solve for b, we're solving for b when I plug in x, because this, remember this goes to 0, so we get negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5b. This gives us negative, this gives us positive 5. On this side is negative 2 plus 7 is positive 5. What I want to do is solve for b, so I get divide out negative 5, divide out negative 5, and b is equal to 1. b is equal to negative 1, sorry, because that's, okay, so because that's a positive. We're dividing this, and this is positive. That's negative, so it's positive 5 divided by negative 5 gives us b is equal to negative 1. So now we want to solve for a. We have a b is equal to negative 1. b is negative 1. Okay, now we want to find a, same way, same idea, same idea. This time, what are we going to use? x is equal to 3. x is equal to 3 to make that 0. So I plug that in, 3 plus 7, and we'll plug that in right here. We get 3 plus 7 equals A, 3 plus 2, plus B is 3 minus 3. We know that goes off to 0. That's not that interesting. That's good for us. That goes off to 0. This is 5, so we get 5A, so 10 is equal to 5A, divided by 5, and 2A is equal to 2. Okay, so going back now, we could replace our a's and b's. So we said a was equal to 2. Going back, we're going to go replace our a's and b's. And therefore, our partial fraction will be, our partial fraction will be, a is 2, so it's 2 over x minus 3, minus 1 over x plus 2. There is our partial fraction. Okay, very good stuff. Okay, we'll, we'll do to do a bunch of these. Again, very important skill to know how to make, do these partial fractions. Let's look at another one a little more complicated, of course. Okay, 